I'm Robert O'Connor from Gorey, I'm based in Gorey, County Wexford, and I'm a wood turner. Yeah, well, I kind of know nearly every material or every wood by the, either the grain or the feel of it, of what, which they are. Um, like this one here is beech. The reason I like turning beech is I like it when it's, when it's spalted, which is a fungus. We, we call it spalted, which is a fungus attacking the tree and you get all these little black lines going through it. So when it's polished up, the whole grain just bounces back out at it. Completely different than your normal bit of beech. That's not, that hasn't any, any spalt in it. Well, the slow way of doing it is just leave it in a very damp place, lying flat, just off the ground, and the fungus will attack it. Or the quick way is we actually cut it out, um, paint on natural yogurt onto it, and wrap it up in cling film. And the, the, the natural yogurt reacts with the beach and creates a fungus, and you can see it through the pallet wrap. It only takes weeks to happen. You have to dry it to kill the fungus. That stops it from going any further. I won't go any further after that. This one here is yew tree. This, um, this is elm. It's very, very scarce. There's no elm trees left in the country. The only place you get elm now is someone that has stored it for years and is willing to part with it. It's very tough timber. Um, lovely to turn, but very hard, hard to turn. It comes up super, especially if you can get a bit of bur elm, which is very, very scarce at the time. Sycamore. Cedar. Horse chestnut. And pitch pine. That's them, them lot there. Started with it was very young with my father. He was always working with bits of wood, doing bits of pieces around the house, and I was always with him. Giving him a hand or in the way, one or the other. And just Bell from there. I became a professional wood turner about 28 years ago and I've been turning ever since. Well, the signature piece is what they call the Stonewall Bowl and it came about very simple. I had an art gallery one time and I seen these stone walls of Ireland in drawings and I went home and said I'm going to make a bowl with this stone wall on the outside of it and it's developed from there. The process of this, the stone wall bowl is you turn it the basic shape on the outside first. After that you actually carve in the stones whatever shape stone wall you're going to do and then you scorch it with a very very powerful scorch lamp with, with map gas and after that then we brush it out. Ebonise it. And polish it. And that's it.